Praise be Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 21. The chief priests and the elders are giving our Lord Jesus a hard time. And Jesus says something scary to them. He says to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. This is the Savior of the world, sent by God, the longed-for Messiah. Here he is, working the signs, raising the dead, multiplying food, casting out demons, giving sight to the blind. And the chief priests and the elders and so many people, they don't see it. They miss it. But not everyone misses it. The tax collectors, the prostitutes, some of them, they see it. And they repent and they turn their hearts to God. This year, 2020, was a year for people to repent. And some did. Many people during this year had what I call an illumination of conscience. They recognized the world's going bonkers. And they decided to leave the ways of the world and return to the ways of God. I met a significant number of people who've started to pray the rosary again. Started reading sacred scripture again. Many people have made a general confession, returned to confession. People who are caught up in the world, who are oblivious to the things of God, they don't see this. There are people who, they're like the frog in the water that's about to boil. They realize, wait a minute, this water's about to boil, and I'm about to die. So they jump out. The question is, have you been able to read the signs of the times and recognize that now is a good time to repent, to beg God to open your eyes so that you can see reality so you can see the sins and the consequences the effects of your sins and you can truly repent and walk in God's ways I don't know what 2021 is going to hold but I have a bad feeling about it what we're seeing unfolding in the world is people who are in a position to assume global dominance global power and so many of them they don't acknowledge the supremacy of Almighty God, the God who made us and loves us. They don't acknowledge the Lord Jesus, Savior of the world, who came to teach us truth and show us the way. And brothers and sisters, check your history. You don't need to go too far back in history to see what happens when leadership tries to make a perfect world while defying God and his laws. It never works out. It always ends up in disaster. And this is what we're seeing happen, happening right before our eyes. And so yes, the tax collectors, the prostitutes, some of them, they got it. People this year have returned to the Lord. They, they're getting it. They're seeing the signs of the times. Are you seeing the signs of the times? Are you recognizing that, you know what? Now would be a good time to repent of my sins, to prepare my heart for the coming of the Lord Jesus, to begin to, to love God and to live for him and to live for him alone. Because the Lord Jesus says, keep watch, be vigilant, stay awake. You don't know the day or the hour. Viva Cristo.